Alright guys, so for the people out there jumping back to Classic Era, whether you're doing the Hardcore Challenge or just playing the game normally, what I thought I'd do today is count down the top 10 add-ons that I simply cannot live without when I play Classic Era. First of all, we'll go through some of the essential add-ons, just in case there's some new people to World of Warcraft watching the video, because there definitely is out there. Then I'll go through these 10 really unappreciated but very useful add-ons that I personally use, and we'll talk a little bit about my UI also. Now, first things first, you actually need a place to download these add-ons from. From my experience, the best one is CurseForge, so I'll leave a link to that in the description. Just download it, get it to scan your files to find your World of Warcraft client, and Bob's your uncle. Now, if you're not using a UI overhaul add-on, you definitely want to get Bartender, which totally customizes your action bars and makes it much easier to keybind them. You obviously also want Weekorers. You can download Weekorer packs from the Weekorer website, which normally do stuff like reminding you to reapply a buff to yourself or other essential information like when you have certain procs or cooldowns available. Another very important Weekorer add-on to get when you're doing the Hardcore Challenge is the one I'm going to link in the description, which is essentially a PvP warning. This will warn you when you accidentally flag for PvP, because obviously when that happens, you can get ganked and then fail your hardcore challenge. And if you're doing a hardcore challenge, you definitely need the hardcore add-on to track that you're not cheating. It will also tell you when other people die on the hardcore challenge in-game, as long as you are in a hardcore guild. Remember to get Atlas to take a look at all of the dungeon loot, get Bagnon, which combines all your bags all into one, Leatrix Plus has great automation features and quality of life stuff like making your quest log wider. You also have Leatrix Maps, which drastically improves the map so you can zoom in and have a better look at stuff. You want to get Plater. It's a nameplate add-on which makes everything look way cleaner. Now, I also have an import code for Plater that will display very important mob information from every single mob in the open world. So let's say you're looking at a mob, you're a bit unsure about how powerful it is, this import will show you on Plater, you know, what the mob does. It will show you all the essential information like the mob's abilities, how much health it has, so you never get caught off guard ever again. Because sometimes you can end up in some really nasty situations just simply because you didn't know a particular mob had some kind of debuff or a crowd control ability. Then you obviously also want Titan Panel. This is a little bar that it can have at the top. I always turn the opacity down to 0% so I just see the essential information at the top to make it look much cleaner. It'll tell you stuff like XP per hour, how much hour you how much hour? How much ammo you've got left, and essential info like that. I apologize for that really loud squeaking sound if you can hear that. The uh, the gypsies next to me who hog all of the parking spaces are moving their camper van. So now let's get to the meat and potatoes, the actual add-on list. Now my new favourite add-on, especially when playing a hunter, is called Tracking Eye. Now originally in vanilla, you couldn't just have a little button on a mini-map where you can change what you're tracking like you can later on in World of Warcraft's lifetime. And this basically just does that with a little add-on. So you can quickly switch between tracking minerals if you're going out mining or tracking beasts or anything like that. It's particularly useful if you're a dwarf because then you can quickly track whether you want to track treasure or something else. And this minimap add-on that you can see, by the way, is called Sexy Map, which just makes it look much better and much cleaner. Now, the reason why there's no irritating cluttered add-on buttons on my minimap is because I use the add-on Hiding Bar, which is a little bar that I can essentially move close to my minimap that only appears when I hover the mouse over it, and then it will show all of my add-ons, and then I can just click them when I want to configure them. And by the way, the UI that I use when I'm playing Classic Era is called SUI. I like this is because it preserves the vanilla feeling, you know, the vanilla UI. I don't like getting stuff like LUI because it looks too, just too dissimilar to World of Warcraft and too sci-fi. But if you like that, then go for LUI. And the reason why it looks really cool and dark is because I use another add-on that goes with it called Dark Mode. For number three, we have What Training. This will add a little button to your spellbook where you can track when you can gain new abilities and it will tell you exactly what level that you can train them at. So then you can decide whether it is worth going back to a major city to get training without having to scroll through Wowhead or something very boring and irritating like that. I still don't understand why people still use the questing add-on Quest Helper. In my experience, it's just not very precise and it's very laggy and... It's just nowhere near as good as the true best questing add-on, which is Codex Light. 
This will show much more precise spawn locations so you can better see where mobs are going to appear in the open world. But not only mobs, but items you have to pick up from the ground or things you have to interact with in-game to progress certain quests. You also definitely want to get yourself Rare Scanner. Now this will tell you where all the rares are on the map and it will tell you when one has spawned near your location. And then to add to that, it will also show the loot that that rare mob drops. So you can decide whether it's worth taking a risk taking down that elite mob or just leaving it. And by the way guys, to give back to people who subscribe to my channel, I actually have a weapon progression guide for every single class and spec in the game when leveling in Classic WoW. So you can always keep up to date with your upgrades. All you have to do is go to my channel page after subscribing and you'll see the guide in the description of my sub only video. One irritating thing when you're leveling up in vanilla is not knowing where certain vendors are, whether you want to buy something basic like cooking supplies to level up your cooking, or you're looking for an ammo vendor or a repair vendor. The add on handy notes when you get the plugin that is called handy notes NPCs will show on the map where all of these useful NPCs are, so you no longer have to tab out and look them up on Wowhead. It will also show you where speciality vendors are, which obviously have a chance to have limited green gear on them, which is very, very useful while leveling up in vanilla because you can go and quickly check them to see if you can get a gear upgrade from them. An add-on that I always get with Atlas is called Atlas Quest, which will show you all the quests that you can possibly obtain from every single dungeon. It will show you precisely where to get the quest, you know, from the exact NPC and the coordinates of where to get it in the zone. And then if the quest has a pre-quest of part of a chain, it will tell you where to start the chain quest to then progress into the quest that is completed while doing the dungeon. So you can optimize your dungeon runs. Now this next add-on admittedly is a little irritating. You've got to set it up correctly and then it's very, very useful. It's called Milk Scrolling Battle Text or MSBT. Normally it does show a lot of information. My recommendation is to filter it so it's not showing every single bit of information like the damage you receive or the damage you deal. Now the reason why I have this add-on when I'm doing the hardcore challenge is I want to know, first of all, when my character misses or gets parried because then I need to be a little bit aware that that's happened because it means I could be in danger. And I use it to also track when I receive a critical hit or when my pet receives a critical hit. Because more than often in situations like that, I do need to start thinking of, hmm, do I need to reset combat here or do I need to use a health potion? Doom Cooldown Pulse is a great add-on to track when your cooldowns become available. It appears in a big square in the middle of the screen, kind of faded so it doesn't like, take up too much room from your looking at your UI. Honestly, sometimes we chorus just aren't enough because you have to look at a specific location on the screen where Doom Cooldown Pulse just appears right in the middle. With this add-on, you definitely won't miss a cooldown coming off cooldown ever again. And lastly, we have Gathermate. Now, the problem with Gathermate is alone, it's kind of crap. You've got to make sure you also import the data from the add-on which is called Gathermate Data on the Curse Client. This will import information from Wowhead about all of the spawn node locations of mining and herbalism nodes. And you can even import nodes for treasures. And there you go guys, those are the add-ons that I simply cannot live without in Classic Era. Until my next video, ciao.